you know, I decided I'm going to leave. Really? Yeah. I just can't, I can't do this. Is it because of the girls? It's been a combination of things, you know? Like, it wasn't just last night. But the thing is, if you have a connection with Matt, and if Matt has a connection with you, as much as I hate to say it, I have to have you guys explore that completely. Because I don't want to be his backup plan. If you leave and he's still interested in you, he's going to be wondering what if. I mean, like, I really believe in the feelings I have with him, but I just, I'm not cut out for this. And like, I just can't give this my all, you know? Like, all of my worst insecurities are coming out. I really have to put my well being first. And I'm not in a good headspace here. <laughs> and, you know, I, don't, I haven't really opened up to you about the situation with my dad. But he has a terminal illness. And, like, it's not like years it's, or months, it's like maybe like weeks. So that's really weighing on my heart, too. Like time away from him. And I thought I was ready for this. But, like, I have to be true to myself. My dad passed away in 2012. So I 100% encourage you to be with him. If I could get back the minutes I had with him. Yeah, that's weighing on my heart. It's so hard being here away from him, knowing, like, we don't know how much time he has. I understand that more than I would like to. <laughs> Knowing that, I mean, yeah, it changes everything. And I missed out on my goodbye to my dad, so I would never want that for you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. My dad is everything to me. I think he wants me to be happy and find love. So it's not just because of my dad's condition. It's also the tension in the house. I believe in the feelings with Matt. We have a great connection. But like, Matt deserves the best and like, I just don't feel my best. I want him to have everything and more of what he came here for. But I don't think it can be with me.